Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. All right, guys, so we're in a develop module. We're going to start with the right panel from the very top, which is the histogram. Now, again, our module uh, panel shortcuts work the exact same way in every single module. So the histogram shortcut is zero, and to access, to toggle it, we just hit Control or Command Zero to open it or close it. Now the histogram in the develop module has quite a bit more functionality than it does in the library module. One of my favorite new things about the histogram is that it ties directly into our process version 2012 settings. So for example, if I bring my mouse over the histogram, it tells me which range each slider is going to affect. So if I expand this basic panel right here, we can look at exposure and with my mouse over exposure, it highlights the area that exposure is going to affect in the histogram. So I can do the same thing just by mousing over the histogram. So going to the left of that, I have my shadow range, I have the blacks range, then going to the right of exposure, I have my highlights, and now I have my whites. So this is a much more intuitive system to adjusting our exposure and our settings on our image because we're basically assigning out different areas of this tone curve to each individual slider. So it's an easy way to understand which slider is affecting which area exactly. Now we can also adjust our exposure directly from the histogram just by clicking on an area and moving it right to brighten it or left to darken it. Now I wouldn't necessarily recommend working this way because it is kind of a, a clumsy way to be managing the exposure of the image, but that is an option as well. I'm going to hit Control Z or Command Z on a Mac to undo that. Now to the top left and top right of the histogram we have two different alerts. So this is the Show Shadow Clipping Alert and this is the Show Highlight Alert. So when you mouse over each of these, it's going to show you in blue for the shadows what areas are being clipped, meaning which areas of the shadows have complete loss in the details, as well as what areas are blown and have complete loss in the highlights. Now a shortcut to do that to show you both actually is J. And this is only available from the develop module where it will show you exactly which areas of your image are clipped, which shadows are clipped and detail is lost, and which highlights are blown and detail is lost. I'm going to hit J to turn the clipping alert off, and everything else in the histogram is identical to the library module from here on out. We have a little bit of EXIF data on the bottom of the histogram showing kind of just how the image was shot and the exposure settings. Let's go to the next tutorial where we talk about the crop overlay.